Welcome everyone. Today we're going to be talking about how to make your interior photos look light and airy. And we're going to be doing this with a pretty cool action that I made in Photoshop. So before we do that, we need to make a few adjustments in Lightroom and basically match the exposure so we achieve a smoother blend across the board. So let's go ahead and actually select all these layers. Go to Settings, Match Total Exposures. This will bring all your exposures to the same brightness level as the selected image, which is our base exposure. Next, we're going to go to our lens corrections, remove chromatic aberration, and enable profile corrections. Then we're going to go ahead and deselect our base exposure and our bright exposure and bring down the highlights of our dark exposure and bring down the highlights of our bright exposure. And then we can go ahead and adjust the brightness of our bright exposure. Now, I feel like uh, being, I feel like the brightness of the image is a little bit dark, but what we can do in Photoshop is, pr is play the action and it'll actually brighten the image very substantially while retaining that contrast and detail that we have in the windows. So let's go ahead and select all these images and we are going to edit in, open as layers in Photoshop. And it's gonna open up our images as layers, not smart objects today. And we can go ahead and go to our actions panel. If you don't have it right here, we, you can go to window, actions, and that'll open up your actions. Now, before we do anything, I wanna show you what, like a little bit of a warning dialogue here. So basically this says, the action is designed, designed to work with photos of similar exposure values. Please adjust the exposure slider in, in Adobe Camera Raw or Lightroom. So the darkest exposure is now the same brightness as the base exposure and so on and so forth. So basically what we've done in Lightroom, we need to do that before we do any of the actions in this set. If you don't do them, your image is going to look really bad. So let's go ahead and place, press stop, auto align the images, press play. That's going to auto align the images. And I think these look good. And we're going to press play and adjust opacity. So it says objective, please arrange the layers to be in this order from top to bottom. And all of our layers pretty much export, uh, pretty much um, open in Photoshop as that uh, in that layer order. So we have our base, dark, and bright. So that basically means our that basically means we are good to go. And if you ever want to turn this dialog off, just click that check, bu check button and that'll turn off. And um, yeah, so let's go ahead and uh, click on the select all layers current layer, press play. And this is a pretty much just a one click action. It's pretty simple and it gets really good results. As you can see here, there it is. <laughs> So now that the action is completed, please adjust the opacity of the layers to further refine the image to your taste. Click the continue button once you've read this dialog box. So let's go ahead and continue. And I think this actually looks pretty good, but I'm gonna show you um, what the adjustments do in Photoshop. So I'm gonna turn all these layers off. Now this is pretty much our base exposure. Then we blended the dark exposure, blended the bright exposure, adjusted the white balance and contrast along with it desaturated some of the color contamination, boosted the exposure, made a selective color adjustment, and then boosted the overall saturation in the image. So that's pretty cool. Um, you can always adjust the opacity. Let's say I wanted it to be much duller, much more subdued. I could adjust the vibrance opacity. And if I wanted to make the image a little bit darker, just go ahead and hit selective color. Make it about 60%, that looks good. But I'm gonna go ahead and keep it at 100%. I like it nice and bright. Next, what we can do is really tighten up this image and really make it stand out. Let's go ahead and go to number three, shadows and highlights adjustment. Press play. And this is actually pretty subtle, but what it does is that it just tightens up the image so it looks a lot more pleasing. So as you can see right here, this area just becomes a lot smoother. And now we can go ahead and flatten the image and hit Control S to save. And there we go. Mark that as five stars or not because I have, a, I have a custom filter on. But basically we went from this to this. 
pretty simple. So that's pretty much it. If you guys have any comments, questions, concerns, or advice, just let me know in the comment section below or add me on Facebook and talk to me through there. Anyway, guys, it's about 2.30 a.m. I gotta get to sleep.